Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to make text, or any other shape, look like it's been painted on grass. I downloaded this texture from cgtextures.com. This document is 3000 by 2000 pixels with a resolution of 72 pixels per inch. Call up your type tool and click on the character text box. I'm using a font called Sports World, which you can download for free at defont.com. Click on the Paragraph tab and choose Center Text. I'm using text that's about 370 points. Click on your document and type out your text. I want the text to be sized so each line is the same length. I'll highlight the top line and slide the size to match the golfer's length. I'll highlight my third and fourth lines and do the same. To reposition your text, call up your Move tool, click on it, and move it. Let's close the text window. Go to your text layer and press Control or Command as you click on it. This will call up its selection. Click on the New Layer icon to make a new layer. Click on the foreground color, and I'm going to choose a bright yellow for the inside of my text. To fill the selection with this color, press Alt or Option plus Delete. We're going to texturize the edges of each letter to blend in with the grass. Click on the Paths tab and click on the little arrow at the right. Click Make Work Path. Keep the default tolerance at 0.5 pixels. Call up your brush tool and open up your brushes. Click on the inside arrow to open up your list of brush presets. Click Assorted Brushes and click OK. I'll scroll down and choose this brush. Press F5 on your keyboard to call up your brush presets. Click Brush Tip Shape and I'll increase the spacing to 67%. I'll make the size to 29 pixels. Keep in mind, depending on the size and resolution of your text, as well as the brush tip itself, you may want to adjust these numbers. Click on Shape Dynamics and make sure the control is Direction. Click on the arrow on the right of Paths again and choose Stroke Path. Make sure the tool is Brush and keep Simulate Pressure unchecked. Close the Brush window and click anywhere in the empty area of the Path panel to hide the work path. Click on the Layers tab and change the Blend Mode of your text to Soft Light. Make sure you hide the original text. Click on the FX icon and choose Stroke. I'll make 40 for the size and the Blend Mode Soft Light. Make a copy of the layer and double click Stroke. We'll change the position to Inside and the Blend Mode Overlay. I'll change the size to 12 pixels and click on the color box. I'll type in 00488C, which is a muted blue. Because the blend mode is overlay, it looks greenish blue on the yellow text. I want to lower the intensity of the yellow text, but keep its inside stroke as is. To do this, I'll go to Fill and change the opacity to 60%. The last step is to angle our entire image so it looks like our painted text is in front of us. Press Control Shift Alt E or Command Shift Option E on a Mac. Go to Image and Canvas Size. We'll change the inches to percent and change the width and height to 60%. Click Proceed. Call up your Transform tool by pressing Control or Command plus T and go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Go to a corner and drag out. Both corners will move out simultaneously. Press Enter or Return to accept it. Call up your Transform tool again and press Control or Command plus Zero to see the entire transform on your screen. Click on a corner and press Shift and Alt or Shift and Option and drag in. Continue to transform and reposition it until you're happy. Using these techniques, you can paint anything on grass, whether it's your favorite sports team or to tell someone you're thinking of them. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.